you know, we got Rishi over from the finance department. <laughs> We're going to hire him as CEO now. Hey, if it's working out for Microsoft, it might work out for Great Britain. I want to see the UK go down for stealing $14 trillion of wealth from the India. Reporting from BBC News, 42-year-old Rishi Sunak has now been appointed Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. And yes, the reactions are quite mixed. Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. Uh, David and Andrew here. Guys, we have an Indian guy who's leading Great Britain now. He just got appointed, stepped in for the Prime Minister who resigned after 45 days. Man, um, it's kind of crazy. David, what's going on? Yeah, I'll tell you this. The internet has so many different angles and so many hot takes on this. Obviously, the one from sort of the pan-Asian or like the pro-brown crowd, which is like a lot of people in India, obviously even Daisy people in America, not all of them, but it's kind of like, I salute you, Rishi Sanak. The colonizers have now become the colonized. This is a day I never thought I would see. This is great. Uh, that is not how the prime minister works. It's not like he's the king of England right, and it's like right, 1820 right. or whatever. But there is also moderate white people in England being like, I don't know why him being a person of color and being brown is such a big deal. I just want him to lead us out of this economic crisis that we're in. That's the only thing that matters to me. And of course, Andrew, there's more blue collar people in England that are like, you know, the England's 85% white. I don't know how this brown Hindu guy is going to lead us out of anything. It's not wrong for us to want to have our look be the president. And there is a lot of other people who are even Asian in Great Britain that are just like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care. He's just a rich billionaire elitist who only cares about all the rich people for the conservative party. He's not going to help the people. Yeah, and it is complicated, guys. Obviously, progress is not perfect. I don't fault anybody for feeling how they're feeling about it, Andrew, because everybody's like exposure is different, right? Like us in America, obviously, we don't care about the Labor Party. We don't care about the Tory Party. We talk about Tory. Well, we talking about Tory lanes because it doesn't Tory... it doesn't affect us. We're not in that country. Typically, Andrew, uh, the rich party that Rishi Sunak is representing, I believe he's from a millionaire family and he married into a billionaire family. Andrew, they believe more in top down economics, right? Like giving tax cuts to the rich people and somehow that will build stability in the economics. Obviously. I guess the Labour Party or more of the left, they believe in more of a middle-centric approach or even a bottom-up economic model. So, Andrew, we did a lot of research on British politics. We're not going to get into it. We ended up looking into it for hours and scrapping it all because it's just, like, it's just I, way too complicated. I'm sorry. I'm not an expert on UK politics yet. I didn't get there yet. Well, show some respect, Andrew. I believe the language you're speaking is English. Well, I guess the question is, how should Asians globally feel, especially Asians who are outside of Britain? Let's talk about it. people who are not necessarily directly affected. I think a lot of people are affected maybe by, you know, Britain's economy, but not directly. So I guess how do we feel as like Asian Americans, East Asian Chinese Americans? Well, I do think that Ronnie had a really funny joke on Daily Show saying like, you know, Indians are not just, Asians. Just run the clip. Well, Ronnie said it. Ronnie said it. Everyone is really excited that this is the first Asian prime minister. But let's be clear. Indians are not Asian, okay? Okay, they're still people, great people. They're just not Asian people, okay? No, 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 answer me this. If this guy is Asian, how come when he became prime minister, I felt absolutely nothing? <laughs> All right, this was a funny clip. By the way, I'm not saying that everybody agrees with this. It was just a funny joke. But um, I will say this. I do think a lot of Asians are like pretty interested by this, right? Because visually, it's just somebody who visually represents Asia, even though it's South Asian and we're East Asian, right? Or in Britain, as they like to call us, Orientals. Because obviously Indian people in the UK are actually Asians wear Ooh. Orientals. But uh, David, I haven't said the word Oriental for about two decades. But yeah, we, we used to use that word a lot, yeah. Um, I would say this, it's nice to see you ascend to like power in the Western world or like oh. the white Anglo-Saxon world to a place that you maybe thought you would never see somebody, right? Yeah, for no, example, no, no, I mean, this is groundbreaking. Let's not, I don't want to like play it, downplay it. Like this is big to have a brown guy, you know, of course, Britain colonized India back in the day. And then, you know, they took a lot from it and whatever, but they also did some other stuff. But anyways, now a brown guy's in office. And he's got to run the show and he's got to figure things out. And he's actually inheriting a whole bunch of problems. Right. Is it at all similar to Obama, where obviously when Obama took over, there was some white people being like, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if I could trust him. He ain't right. white. Like, why people been building America, running America yeah. for a while. There was some skepticism, or even amongst like a portion of white people in the UK, that he's like going to represent their interests, right? Yeah, they thought that he was going to be extra biased towards his group, his tribe, you know? And as it turned out, I mean, I think a lot of people would say that Obama didn't do as 
as much as he could have or or maybe he would feel like his hands were tied or whatever. I guess there's debate about it. But anyways, I'm just saying, I, I don't know if that's the case because it seems like Britain is a, in a slightly different situation where they're a little bit more so uh, economic focused. Like they're like, they're really in an economic ditch right now. And I think that everybody kind of agrees that's the number one concern. Yeah, not only that, I do think the UK is like 85% white. So social issues and sort of these racial tribal issues that are a bigger deal in the US are just simply like not on the top list of priorities or they never were. Yeah, I mean, Rishi Sunak is just a minority of a minority because he's he's of the 5% Indian, but he's of the 0.00001% class because this dude's family, him and his wife combined are nearly worth a billion dollars. And it's mostly from his wife's side. Though. Right, he did marry the daughter of an Indian IT billionaire. Andrew, you know what's really interesting that I looked into because I did my research for this video. I went into the Indian subreddits and some people were like, I am so glad that Rishi Sunak is now the PM of UK because an Indian gets to be the helm at the helm of this Titanic ship, when it hits the iceberg, I want to see the UK go down for stealing $14 trillion of wealth from the India. They need to return the kind of poor diamonds. What the hell? And then other people were like, I would really like to see Rishi Sunak lead the UK back to prominence because it will show that we are great leaders and we are great people who can forgive them. Because even within India, Andrew, there's like different perceptions wow. on what they want the final outcome to be. Yeah, I mean, Andrew, some people are hoping that the Britain goes downside with India at the helm, or some people hoping yeah. that it goes upside. I mean, I think the truth is, uh, if you're a global thinking person, obviously you don't want Great Britain, one of the top six economies of the world, obviously like one of the centers or the center of Western culture, right? If you care about Western culture, right? You don't wanna see it go down in this way, but I think it's good that uh, there is diversity in, in, in the office because also, it's, you know, with the queen passing, it kind of like one of the old uh, British guards of like the British empire is kind of gone, you know? So things are changing for Great Britain now where now you have a brown guy and, and he's leading the way and he's got to figure things out. So I, I guess it's just changing. It's very different for people. Well, I'm just glad that the queen didn't have to shake a brown hand to be handing over her country to one of the peons of, of the old days. Well, I believe his position before he became prime minister was like minister of finance hey you know we got rishi over from the finance department <laughs> we're gonna hire him as ceo now just like they did for a bunch of fortune 500 companies in america so hey if it's working out for microsoft it might work out for great britain who knows guys and i did see on in the indian subreddit someone was like now we got google now we got Microsoft. Then if Kamala takes over because Biden stepped down, then we got Rishi Sunak. It is going to be brown boys taking over the Western society. Let's go. Dude, going on the subreddits. Andrew, what do you think? Like, is there like some sense that like Rishi Sunak is going to like call up Modi and it's going to be just some like insider <laughs> thing like Obama dapping up all the black people? You know what's really interesting is that like some people view it more like class, but some people view it more as like race. Like immediately now, like Rishi's gonna like team up the UK with India and Modi. Like Rishi, hello, this is Prime Minister Rishi. I'd like to speak with Modi. Hello, Modi. Hey bro, we did it, man. Yeah, happy Diwali. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Rishi doesn't talk like that. Uh, he was born and raised in the UK. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's funny to think of all these things. Uh, and, and these are like jokes and these are cultural things that everybody's worried oh, about. I, I think I'm sure Indian comedians in the UK are right. about to write 75,000 yeah. jokes. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is, guys, obviously, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm hoping the best. Like, I hope he figures it out. I do know that there's a growing sentiment because he wasn't elected. He was appointed because Liz Truss uh, resigned. So it's not like he really got voted in. And yeah. a lot of people are like, yo, we need like, we need a general election now. We need to actually elect our leaders. So I'm like, no more leaders that are just appointed to sit no, in for the failed leader. It, it does seem like some people think that he's just going to be used as a scapegoat once the Titanic inevitably hits the iceberg because it's too late to turn the Titanic. You know how big ships and submarines and things are. Yes, I don't know what the truth is, guys. I don't really study European politics at all, but I do know about identity politics. All right, everybody, you let us know in the comments down below what you think, all right? Are you excited for Rishi Sunak as prime minister? Do you think he's gonna do a good job? Nobody really knows. He's only been there for like a day or two. And how much does the representation matter if you do agree or disagree with the politics? I will say this, Andrew. This is a big win for crazy rich Asians. Andrew, think about it. He is a real crazy rich Asian. Just like in the movie Crazy Rich Asians, they were not depicting your average Malaysian, your average Singaporean. It was the 0.00001% level of wealth and power and elitism.
All right, everybody, we're going to leave it right there. Let us know what you think about this whole situation. And uh, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.